Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about soil organic matter decomposition. So let's get started. So in the previous video, I talked about the components of SOM or soil organic matter. So in this video, we are going to start off with decomposition of SOM. So with talking about decomposition of SOM, let us talk about humus, which is the most important component that gets formed after decomposition. So, decompos uh, so humus basically it's a complex mixture of dark organic matter which is amorphous and colloidal nature that forms the soil when organic residues of plant and animal undergo decomposition by soil microbes. Also it's a great source of sodium, phosphorus and sulfur which provides soil fertility. So as you can see this is a simple conversion which is the raw organic matter which gets slowly and steadily converted to humus right so this leads through extensive decomposition so we'll talk about the uh, these terms more in my coming videos so going on with this so let's just talk about some of the properties of humus so these are tiny colloidal particles which are composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen the colloidal particles are negatively charged and they have a very high surface area these also impart black color to the soils and these are storehouse of nutrients which provide physical and chemical stability to the soil by promoting aggregate formation also it manages soil salinity and ph stimulates beneficial soil life and enhances water moisture retention ability of soil so overall so it it's definitely beneficial for the soil and definitely beneficial for the for the overall area the nutrient surrounding of the soil that imparts all of the color the nutrients and all of the beneficial activities so moving on with this so talking about humus formation or humification so humus is the end product of composting process and greatly resistant to further decomposition it occurs naturally in soil or in the production of compost or through microbial decomposition so these are some of the uh, steps or these are some of the methods that happens in the humus formation so one of them is uh, one of them which is it occurs naturally in soil in order in the production of compost and the second is by microbial decomposition which can be through natural physical factors causing chemical changes which can be rainfall wind light reaction of the medium some of the examples of these are oxidation of fats raisins in light and oxidation of aromatic compounds under alkaline soil conditions or there can be another factor which is known as oxidative tissue enzymes or oxidation of tannins polyphenols and other aromatic amino acids so this is the way humus gets formed so this is the one is the natural way and one other is the microbial decomposition so microbial decomposition can happen through natural physical factors or through oxidation of tissue enzymes so this is the humification process which is the end product of all of the decomposition that happens in the raw material so moving on with this so let's just talk about in a stepwise process so it's two stage biochemical process so humification happens in a two stage so one of them is decomposition and the other one is synthesis so in decomposition what happens is fresh organic components of tissues are broken down by soil microbes into simpler monomers and product of complete mineralization so basically the complex compounds are broken down into simpler monomers and these are further processed so so this leads to the second process which is after all of the complex compounds gets bro broken down into simplest monomers uh, the synthesis process takes place so the breakdown monomeric products undergo polymerization to form high molecular weight humus substances such as polyphenols or polyquinides so this this happened through after the breakdown of monomeric products so what happens is it undergoes polymerization to form high molecular weight humus substances also they interact with nitrogen containing amino compounds to form major part of the decomposition resistant humus so they also interact with nitrogen containing amino compounds to form majority of the humus so these are the two important steps that happens in the humification or humus formation so one is decomposition and next then is the synthesis of the decomposed products so moving on with this 
talking about the maintenance of humus so how do we maintain this so maintain so maintaining adequate level of organic matter in the soil the n level or the nitrogen content is very important so we need to maintain the nitrogen level all and all so definitely this is very important also loss of nitrogen from soil is to be minimized and inclusion of legumes in soil rotation and judicious application of uh, nitrogen fertilizers and bio fertilizers is promoted generally so that the nitrogen content is not lost also it maintains appropriate level of soil organic matter by continuous addition of organic material which can be animal manure organic waste and crop residue so these are some of the important uh, measures that we can take to maintain the quality of humus and their nitrogen content also it ensures vigorous crop growth that will result in addition of root and top ready top residues to the soil so these are some of the maintenance uh, factors or some of the maintenance ways that we can adopt so moving on with this so talking about some of the decomposition of som other than humus so talk about the composting step which happens in decomposition of soil organic matter which is a important step so talk about composting so organic matter that has been decomposed by microorganisms to produce co2 water heat and humus so the relatively stable organic end product can be used as a fertilizer and soil additive to improve nutrition quality for plants also the role of composting it reduces volume of organic waste by 5 to 10 times also the heat generated during the decomposition kills many disease causing microbes and enhances breakdown of organic matter it lowers carbon to nitrogen ratio and it serves as excellent soil condition also uh, not other than humus but it's a step for humus decomposition as well so composting can be uh, incorporated for humus formation as well because it's a very easy process and a very beneficial process as you can see some of the rules discussed here so composting is another step for decomposition of soil organic matter or raw materials to form humus and better fertile soil so with this so this is some of the examples as you can see this is the entire raw material which gets slowly and steadily processed to form the fertile soil so composting humus formation and organic farming takes place so a heap of wetted organic matter leaves green food waste so all of these heap of generally wet solids are kept and for waiting for a period of weeks or months for materials to break down into humus after that so after a certain time we need to wait for that uh, microbes to act on it or microbes do the job to convert these all of the solid material to into a fertile substance also the modern composting method is a multi step process that involves close monitoring and measurement of water air and carbon nitrogen rich material so modern composting methods are obviously a better way to convert these raw materials into humus and in a faster way as well and still maintain the fertility of the soil by maintaining the carbon nitrogen levels the measurement of water and air so this is these are some of the ways for decomposition of soil organic matter so let's keep this video till here so this is the slide uh, which is just a overview of this so this is the decomposition is transformation of soil organic matter so what happens is plants get converted to detritus detritus converts all of these microbes into co2 energy and nutrients and all of the humus the way the dead particles gets converted through the help of microbes to nutrient energy and co2 so this is just a graphical representation of all of this which i have discussed in my previous video as well so let's just keep this video till here i'll be back with another video very soon so stay tuned and thank you for watching this video